In this video series, you're going to learn how to sell more jewelry while working on a cruise ship, one of the largest tax and duty-free zones on the planet. Now, this video is going to cover opening your circuit and opening more individual sales. Now, opening your circuit, we're gonna start with this. How do you do this? Well, this is by starting on day number one. Now, most commonly, you will be starting working before the actual store opens because the store can only open after the ship has set sail from the port that it is in. So this is where you find your opportunity to meet most people. Now, how are you going to separate yourself from everyone else? Because yes, there are other departments on board that cruise ship trying to sell people stuff. <laughs> Now, this could be anything from the restaurant department trying to get them to book a dining package, the beverage department trying to get them to book a beverage package, the art department trying to get them to come to their auction, the spa trying to get them to book a massage. Everyone is trying to get their attention and sell them stuff. So separating yourself from everyone else, well, my favorite way of doing this is through reciprocity. You do something nice for someone and they most likely want to do something nice for you in return. So start by helping instead of starting by selling. So when you're greeting and meeting people on the first day of the voyage, ask them, how can I help you? Now, some people are just gonna to be too nice and be like, oh no, no, it's okay, it's okay. And they have the automatic response because they think again, you're trying to sell them something because they've just been approached before you've spoken to them by 10 different people. And now with that in mind, already start by answering the question for them. So when greeting that person, be like, oh, hi, uh, by the way, have you managed to get the app sorted on your phone? Have you managed to connect to the internet already? Already put out the question there that you know that person already has on their mind. That way you can already start by resolving something for them. Now, after you've resolved that for them, continue the conversation and then introduce them into what it is you do or go into fact finding, go into building rapport. Are they celebrating something like what is happening? But start by serving, don't start by selling. That is what everyone else will be doing. Now, another thing to open your circuit is standing out in your appearance or personality. Now, standing out in your appearance, this is if you have the luxury to be able to customize your uniform. Not everyone does have this luxury uh, but if you do then run with it now this could be something bright and vibrant like this not many people wear a bright green or not so much a bright green a forest green blazer like this uh, it could be in the colors of what you wear it could be in something as simple as a lapel pin a different colored tie a tie clip also uh, it could be the fact that you're wearing a hat <laughs> some fancy hat that goes well with what it is that you're wearing it could be your shoes there is so many different things that you could do with your appearance that's going to make you stand out don't get the luxury to be able to wear what you like and then end up wearing something that looks like a uniform from the department you work with or another department on board because then you just blend in and you don't separate yourself from others now it could be within your personality so within your personality this could be in the way that you speak to that person now the way that you speak to that person let your personality shine through do not just be the same as everyone else now by letting your personality shine through it could be your smile it could be your genuine excitement everyone when they come on on the first day of the cruise they're full of energy now, if you're not full of energy and your energy doesn't match theirs or doesn't go higher than theirs, then they're just going to forget about you, uh, you know, 10 seconds later when they turn around the corner after walking past the area, they spoke to you. So that could be in your personality. It could be in your excitement. Uh, now, in other videos, we'll go more into how you can really let your personality shine through in conversation. Uh, but for now, just think about how you can do that to separate yourself. Now, another way can be within your greeting now breaking the ice that first 10 seconds think about what everyone else is doing on that cruise ship now most people are going to be like oh hi how is your day how is your day how is your day by the time they've spoken to you they've been asked how is your day by at least 20 30 maybe even 40 other people now, instead, change your greeting. Are you going to somewhere different? Are you going to somewhere, a different country? If you're going to France, maybe greet them in French, even if you only know how to say hello. Uh, are you going to Spain? Greet them in Spanish instead. 
greet them in a different language. Say something else, uh, you know, instead of just greeting them and being like, hi, how are you? Be like, oh my gosh, by the way, I love your shirt. By the way, oh my gosh, you look so happy being here on board. I just had to say that because I love seeing happy people like you. Something like this is going to, again, separate yourself from others and it's going to help you to build your circuit because you're approaching people in a different way. Uh, now, keep in mind when you're building your circuit, you want to be able to speak to a lot of people. Now, even if you don't end up getting that person's information or getting that person intrigued enough to be able to have a longer conversation with you about jewelry, keep in mind that that person still most likely could end up seeing you again because if you're on a seven day voyage, most likely they're going to come past that area where you're working one more time. So still, when you're creating your circuit, take every conversation in the way that you would want that person to be able to talk about you during dinner that evening. Right? Now that can be, that, that is a big way of looking at the larger picture of things. Because in that conversation, if you're so intriguing, if you're so interesting, you're so different compared to others, maybe that person will actually talk about you during dinner. And if another passenger then hears about you, well, that's what you call a referral. A referral is one of the easiest ways to be able to create another sale or create possibly another connection that could end up leading to a sale. So really remember that. Now let's move into the part where we're going to be talking about how to open more individual sales. So opening an individual sale, there are a few important points. Number one, asking for the guest's name. My name is, my name is Levon. What is your name, by the way? Oh, okay, so it is Mary. Amazing to meet you, Mary. Now, is this your first cruise? That's the second step. Why would you want to know if it's a person's first cruise and why should you ask that person's name? If you ever have any hope of selling something to anyone and you do not know that person's name, your chances of selling something to them is very, very minimal. So always ask for the person's name. Uh, then, is it their first cruise? Why is this important? Because maybe it's not their first cruise and they've been to that store that you're working with many upon many times. They already own 10, 15, 20 pieces from there. By asking us at your first cruise as well, maybe if they tell you it is their first cruise, wow, most people that are on their first cruise normally pick a cruise because they're celebrating something special. Are you celebrating something special this cruise, Mary? Wow, okay, this is what it is. So this is why you want to follow up that question from the name with, is this your first cruise? Now, continuing past that, regardless of what the answer is, you definitely want to bring up again, are you celebrating something special? If you did not already, make sure to do this because the celebration point is really tied in with buying something or shopping for something as well. So always asking, what are they celebrating? Now going past what are they celebrating, greeting them again in a different way. Now I kind of mentioned this as well when it does come into opening of your circuit, but I can't emphasize this enough, especially if you're standing in the jewelry store that you're working in and that person enters the store, I don't just greet them with a hello. Greet them with something different. Greet them with something that either makes them laugh or is going to break the tension. Most people know when they walk into a jewelry store that someone is going to try to sell them something. So there is a little bit of resistance to communication and they know if they start talking to you for a little bit longer, they might end up feeling like they have to buy something. So when they walk into the jewelry store that you're walking in, uh, that, that you're working in, greet them in a different way. Now, this is part number one of the series. Let's move on to watching video number two.